Thank you. Well, it's a great pleasure. At the outset, I must thank you, Shatan, for having given us opportunity to collaborate with this organization, opportunity to host this uh, gathering here. I'm very sure this is going to be available on YouTube because we need to spread this message to many, many, many more people. And being an educational institution, I can assure you that minimum eight to 10,000 people will see this, not within a day, but maybe over a period of a week or 10, week or 10 days. So when it was requested by him, this is a very remote place, you know that. This is a village, population not more than 4,000. And we have, uh, Vidya Prasad Mandal had a dream to create a something, education and science in a village. It's a, it was a over adventure, I would say, because it's about 100 crore. And if I say that I'm paying 50 lakh of rupees every month to a bank, repaying my load. But I'm happy, I'm extremely happy that this topic, which we have discussed today, all of you, very effectively, they definitely is going to make an impact on Indian ethos or Indian mindset at large. Because with such a great population, if somebody says that always we'll adhere to that, that what is our contribution to world science and technology? Well, the fact is that we really have, don't have much contribution. Why? Why is that we don't have? much contribution to science and technology in the world scenario. Why not so many Nobel laureates from India? We may have to think very seriously. That's what I feel because when it comes to science and technology, uh, though many people, they take science as a subject, their mindset and mental, mental makeup is not necessarily uh, science conducive. And that unless or until we start asking questions, why, when, how, which is basic science. We are not going to move much further. I feel that's our job, our job, that's our job, communicator's job. And from that point of view, as with the modern technology, whatever has been done for last two days has been stored. And my request to you, sir, that let's now try to make it more Communicated more such wonderful speeches we had to more people. Let's now plan something, have a strategy that we how can more people look at it. Many people cannot come on this particular day or date or place, but I'm sure they can. They would listen, if not all, few lectures. And as a communication, I need people should listen to these lectures. At least teachers and communicators, they must listen to these lectures. Or them to make understand what science communication is. And then they will be they will start contributing on their part. Because at that micro level, we'll need to create people. That one institution at the micro level, in more and more people try to understand that science communication methods, how to propagate their mindset and resources. And the important thing is resources. Then only we can succeed in making this propagation or this communication or whatever you call it to the masses through schools, colleges, and higher centers of higher education like this. Well, friends, I can only tell you and I can assure you that as far as we are concerned, both at Tane and at Velneshwar, we'll be at your service and let's do more for this. There are two districts here, two here, Ratangiri and Sindhudur. So these are more, more, you can say, not urban. There are uh, semi-urban, you can at the most say, or village type of uh, societies. So whatever we can do on this level, I can assure you that we will be with you. With this uh, assurance, I thank all of you, all of you for having given us this opportunity. It was a wonderful, wonderful session for all two days. Thank you.